Our top story at 5.30, it's a first here in the Bay Area, a new desalination plant in Antioch. My other cities are now taking a closer look at it, especially as our drought conditions worsen. Good evening, I'm Reed Cowan in for Ryan Yamamoto. I'm Sarah Donchi. Construction of the desalination plant comes as salty water keeps intruding on freshwater supplies from the Delta. The desalination plant is being built on Putnam Street in Antioch, just miles from the San Joaquin River. KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us how it'll work. Water, water everywhere, nor any a drop to drink. It's a famous quote describing a desperate situation, and it's coming true in Antioch. In the 1800s, water was the source of life. So the city of Antioch was established on the banks of the Delta and even had the nickname Rivertown, which it still uses today. But it's been a while since the Delta has provided any life around here. We were only able to use our river intake for 30 days this year. Last year, we weren't able to use our intake for a single day because of the salinity levels, because there's no water runoff from the Sierras to push the salinity back out into the Delta. Over the years, more and more water has been siphoned out of the Delta to supply Southern California cities and Central Valley farmers. Now, with reduced flows because of the drought, seawater from the bay is pushing up into the system, making Antioch's historic water supply too salty to use. Until we get enough enough precipitation, enough rain upstream in the watershed to start to fill our reservoirs and to start to add more fresh water in, you're gonna have, you're gonna have issues like that. But while the state may be praying for rain, Antioch doesn't see the situation improving anytime soon. So they're doing what a lot of other cities have only pondered. They're building the first surface water desalination plant in the Bay Area. The new facility will use large reverse osmosis filters to create 6 million gallons of fresh water per day, about a third of the city's needs, but with room for expansion. We're actually only building about half of this facility, so this building is large enough for us to be able to double the size of this in the future. Because they're dealing with brackish water, which has a lower salt content than regular bay water, they can clarify it using less energy and creating less salt-concentrated wastewater. It's an advantage many other Bay Area cities don't have, but they're still closely watching what Antioch is doing. Yeah, we've received a lot of interest from other water agencies on this project. I've had several reach out to me. Uh, I do anticipate that there, you're going to see more of these facilities coming up here in the Bay Area and across the state. In Antioch, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The plant will cost about $110 million, with about $82 million coming from state grants and loans. Supply chain problems have delayed the project, but it should be done by the beginning of 2024.